This is page 75 of your math journal. We're going to call this one variables and evaluating algebraic expressions. All right. So first of all, we need to know what a variable is. Okay, a variable is a number, an unknown number, or value. Okay, we use a letter to represent an unknown quantity. We know it exists, we just don't know how much there is. Okay, next I want you to write algebraic expression. Okay, remember back to the last lesson we had? That was on numerical expressions where we took and turned um, the story into math language. Well. The difference here is it uses numbers variables ah, variables and operations to represent a real life situation. Okay, there are a few things I want you to get used to. You're going to need to get used to having a variable, which is just a letter. All it means is an unknown value. So, an example of an algebraic expression So here are some examples. We could have n plus 2. That means some number and two more were added to it. Um, 3x, this means three times x. So another way we could write it would be x times three. But this is going to be the way you're more likely to see it. But understand this means three times x, which is why we want to get out of using the time an x for a time symbol. Okay, um, another one could be 4 minus t. This means 4 take away whatever t is. We just don't know what they are. These are expressions because they don't have equals. So up here in parentheses I want you to write no equal sign. Okay. Now to evaluate means to give value to it. Right here, this, this, and this mean nothing to me in the sense of I don't know what it's worth. But as soon as I know what this variable's worth, or this variable's worth, or this variable is worth, now I can have value for it. So, example, you might get something like this. Evaluate the expression the 
the expressions below. If m equals 25. So if I have m minus 7, m minus or plus 2 to the third power, I might have um, 3 parentheses m minus 6 divide by uh, let's not do my 6 let's do minus 7 it'll be easier to work with m minus 7 divide by six okay all I'm going to do is I'm going to put 25 in where M is and then do the math so if M is 25 now this means 25 minus 7 so right here this has no value now I know what it is now I can help it have value so this expression is worth 18 once I know what m is. Same idea here. 25 plus 2 to the third power. Okay, order of operations. I have to do this first. So 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, plus 25. 25 plus 8 is 33. It has a value. So right here, this has no value to me. Now it does, because I know what m is worth. Here, plug in what you know. Notice how I'm just replacing 25 where m was. Okay, order of operations. I have to do inside the parentheses first. This is worth 18 times 3 divided by 6. This is the only thing I changed. Okay, order of operations says I have to do this first. So 3 times 18, 18 times 2 is 36, 18 times 3, 3 times 8 is 24, this is 54, divide by 6, so I did this next, order of operations, now division, 54 divided by 6 is 9, now this expression has a value of 9 once I know what m is worth. Okay, um, okay, realize that they're not always just going to be whole numbers. Sometimes you have fractions and decimals. So, evaluate ten a plus six if a equals one fifth. Okay, well I'm going to plug that in. So it's going to is it going to be 10 and 1 fifth? No, this means 10 times this number. So this is 10 times 1 fifth. Don't get fooled with that. 10 times 1 fifth plus 6. So what am I going to do? Order of operations as I have to do my multiplication first. So I'm going to do 10 times 1 fifth. 1 fifth of 10 is 2 and then 2 plus 6 would be 8. Okay, one more. Evaluate 4x plus x divided by 3 if x equals 0 0.9 oh having a bad filming moment sorry okay this is where we plug in what we know so 4 times 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9 divide by 3 
Okay, order of operations, let's do our multiplication first. So this would be 3.6 plus 0 0.9 divided by 3. Next I do my division. This would be 0 0.3, so now I have 3.6 plus 0 0.3, and my final simplified expression would be 3.9. Okay, that's all there is to evaluating expressions. Just put it in the right spot and then make sure you follow the right thing. The biggest mistake I see anybody make is like here if this said evaluate and it just said 9, people would write 49. That's not 49, that'd be 4 times 9. In this case, it was 4 times 0 0.9. And then follow your order of operations.